Bokeh Tov Chavrim, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. <clears throat> Listen, guys, I uh, just wanted to do a quick update and a correction uh, from last night's video. And I really want to thank you, those of you that are uh, <clears throat> really watching and know your homework there. I appreciate that. The video that we had posted, that the Israeli posted, stating that this was uh, the martyrs. Of course, he's pretty sly about the way he did it. He didn't say they were from the Palestinians specifically here of this particular protest. Uh, but nonetheless, the implication was made there, and it is a shame on him for doing that. Uh, the video turns out to be from either 2013, 2014, different, different people commenting on that have given two different dates there. So uh, again, we want to correct that. That was not from this particular situation that has happened uh, over on the Gaza Strip. And I'm going to go into this later tonight, guys. And um, I really think it's important that we talk about this situation. Uh, that's happening in Gaza. I still do realize that, like I stated last night, there's two sides to this story. There's two two sides to what's going on there. And uh, it is still a danger for Israel that these the Palestinians are, are really massing, trying to get the gate open and stuff. I realize that, but I'm concerned that, that the Israeli government instigated the situation, made it worse uh, at the beginning of this protest when they began to shoot the Palestinians and killing quite a few of them uh, And this has gone on it hasn't stopped at all You know one thing that would really help if we would all just step back for a moment Think about what Jesus said when he said Love your neighbor as yourself now, That's actually You know if you look at the commandments of Moses that's exactly where where he says, you know, uh, and, and you know we can find the same thing in the commandments of, uh, of God through through Moses' law there. And of course, if you you know, I'm just paraphrasing. I don't have the Bible in front of me right now, but I remember the uh, the uh, the comment comes back, you know, well, who is my neighbor? Trying to justify themselves. Who is my neighbor? You know. We can't do like that, guys. We cannot look. I, I, I understand the violence. I understand the terrorism that Israel has gone through. But you have to understand who's provoking that terrorism. All right? In the background, there is another entity that wants control over Jerusalem. And they're provoking this. And many of these Palestinians probably have no idea that they're being provoked. They're just, they're just thinking that their leaders are telling them this. And Palestinian people, you need to wake up as well. You're being provoked by an entity just northwest of your location there, provoking your leaders like Hamas and them to do the actions that are happening. All right? So, and Israel, Israeli government officials, let me say to you as well, you know, Jesus made that statement, you know, love your neighbor treat your neighbor as yourself even in our commandments reflects the same thing so when are we going to start you know th think about it like this here would we want to live on a little narrow strip of land that's what they're trying to do to the israeli people is put us on a little narrow strip of land and we've been trying to fight for our rights as well as israelis so how can we expect the people of gaza to feel any different you know, what I'm suggesting here is that the Israeli government take some time, work with the Egyptians. Much of the Sinai is totally not inhabited at all. Why not try to work to help these people get some more land space in an area that would benefit them as well as benefit the Israeli people? Help them to get into the Sinai. Help them to develop those land resources there that could make things inhabitable. Israel's developed the technology to live in a desert. Treat your neighbor as yourself. 
and of course also recognize where the problem is. Don't forget, Jesus said, let the weeds and the wheat grow together. We don't know who's who. You can't judge it because of a nationality. He said, if you try to uproot it, you'll uproot some of the grass along with the weeds. So think about these things, guys. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom, shalom. In a world that is truly in shalom.